from London, England, it's theCUBE, covering Coupa Inspire 19 EMEA. Brought to you by Coupa. Hi, welcome to theCUBE. Lisa Martin on the ground in London at Coupa Inspire 19. I'm pleased to welcome back to theCUBE, Ravi Talker, the SVP of Business Acceleration at Coupa. Ravi, welcome back. It's great to be back, thanks for having me. Likewise, so lots of, lots of buzz around us, everyone's eating lunch, but yeah. there's a lot of folks here in London, a lot of exciting news coming out this morning, a lot of customers infused in. Rob's keynote, I lost count of how many great customer examples were shown. Right. Talk to us a little bit about Coupa Pay and some of the innovations that you guys are delivering now. Yeah, absolutely. So, Coupa Pay is a, a great new area for Coupa. We call it the fourth pillar in Rob's analogy of the pipe, procurement, invoicing, payment, and expenses. And so, actually, we started this journey uh, really last year at this event where we announced virtual card for purchase orders and a strategic relationship with Barclay Card. And over that past year, we've done some amazing things with relationships with JP Morgan, Citibank, and we just announced a great relationship with American Express to provide American Express virtual cards on the Coupa Pay platform. So we've been working hard at it. We've seen some really good success, early success with customers. Uh, we announced some other great innovations in our Vegas conference just a few months ago where we announced invoice payments was generally available along with partnerships with Stripe and PayPal. So it's been Really busy. <laughs> it has been. A, the B2B payments space is it's a big market. Yeah. 1.2, I think, trillion global and global volume. But it's also challenging because on the consumer side, on the B2C side, it's so easy for us to do transactions, right? On our phone, tablet, watches. Yeah. And we have this expectation that we can pay for anything, we can buy anything, we can pay bills so easily. But on the B2B side, there's a lot more complexity. Right. So B2B hasn't, payments hasn't been able to innovate nearly as quickly right. as on the consumer side. But I'd love to get your thoughts on what is Coupa able to leverage with Coupa Pay right. that's maybe going to start meeting some of the demands of those business folks who in their consumer lives have this expectation of a swipe or a click to right. do a transaction. Yeah, it's a completely different ballgame, consumer versus B2B. Whole avenues around risk profiles of your suppliers, you know, if you pay a supplier that's doing illegal business or doing a place in where the government doesn't allow, it puts your brand and your reputation at risk, very serious risk. And so we incorporate a lot of what we do with the community. So you heard Rob talk about that in his keynote, a lot of things around community intelligence. So for us being able to rely on thousands of customers of data, millions of transactions, being able to see things across all of our customers, and really create alerts and transactional efficiencies for our customers in B2B payments, that's a big change for our customers. And we're just starting to get to see some of those transactional elements. I think the second thing that we've seen with B2B payments, and it's interesting, Money 2020 is one of the largest uh, payment conferences uh, in the world. And it happened, I think, last week or the week before in Vegas. And this year has been a lot of talk about B2B payments whereas last year is mostly B2C. And so we feel we've been making an impact in the entire payments area because to us it's bringing together all of the different payment rails, whether it's virtual card or bank transfers or cross-border, but being able to do it across dozens and hundreds of countries in a global fashion, that's a big game changer for large enterprises. So one of the things that was a theme this morning during the keynote was trust. Yeah. I had the opportunity to speak with Rachel Botsman, the trust expert who did the keynote this morning. And as we look at some of the numbers that Rob shared, and you mentioned a few, over a thousand plus customers using Coupa. I think he shared over five million suppliers yeah. on the platform. You talked about this community, this massive community that you are co-creating with. Talk right. to me about Coupa Pay and its ability to help deliver that trust so that Coupa can be that trusted advisor right. that it wants to be with its, not just its customers, but its partners too. No, absolutely. And, and Rachel's presentation this morning was fantastic. It was, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And so, you know, uh, my background actually at Coupa, for a decade I ran customer success. So I engaged with C-level executives at all of our customers. And as part of that process, uh, trust was a big factor in that. When we said something, we would deliver that. 
And over the course of the years that Coop has been around, about 13, 14 years, we've held very true to that. It stands in our number one core value of ensuring customer success. And when you look at all the, the customers that are willing to put their six, what we call success metrics, how much they've sp saved, the spend that they have in our management, when they are publicly talking about it, that's trust that we've created with them in this partnership because they believe in what our ability to deliver. So as we decided to go into payments, where, where trust in payments is a very big deal, as mentioned earlier, right? You don't get necessarily fired for screwing up a purchase order or an invoice, but if you send money to the wrong supplier, to the wrong country, you know, there's a lot of risk associated with that. So we take that very, very seriously in how we've been developing and creating solutions around Coupa Pay. And so it's just the overall avenue that we work with our customers. We treat them as partners, not as a vendor-supplier relationship. And because of that, we have this mutual trust that we're both in this together in this large community. Yeah, and Rachel Botsman talked about sort of that balance between uh, trust and risk, yeah. which was a very interesting concept. Um, talk to me about, I'm just thinking like even from a fraud on a supplier perspective, one of the things I know that Coupa is able to do is alert a customer, right. hey, there's a supplier that has a history of whatever it happens to be that that's, might inflict risk right. on that customer. Tell me a little bit about that from a trust risk kind of balance perspective, what you guys are delivering there. Yeah, it's a great area that we're just really starting to get into as well. And so being able to leverage the community of buyers and suppliers and having everything in a single code system, code platform, allows us to do a number of these things. And so for providing our customers, not the necessarily the, the exact thing that they should do, but providing them the relevant information in order for them to make the right decisions. You know, there's an old adage that I go by, which is trust but verify. And so it's the same similar concept here. It's our goal to provide these prescriptions to our customers on what is the supplier doing or how can you improve your processes. And with these prescriptions, as Rob mentioned this morning, it's, it's up to our customers to choose what they want to do with those prescriptions. Sometimes they may take it, sometimes they may not. And he gave a number, I want to say 22,000 prescriptions. Yeah. In a, in a, he gave a time period. I think it was, it was in the past 12 months. That's what I thought as yeah. well. So a lot of, of insight, literally, coming out of that community. Love to chat, though, about the community in terms of the B2B payment space. Not only we talked about how it's being influenced by consumers, but the changing role of procurement and finance. Yeah. A lot of dis disruption there. We talked about that a few months ago. In yeah, Vegas. exactly. A lot of opportunity for financial leaders to become much more strategic. And a lot of the examples that Rob shared showed how impactful, company-wide, the impact that procurement folks, finance folks can make. Talk to me about how the Coupa is leveraging that community to help them get more visibility on how that procurement role is changing and how Coupa can help it right. be much more strategic. You know, when I, that's a great question. And what I respond with that is, what's the name of our conference? It's Inspire, right? We want to inspire this community to really go to that next level and really look deep inside themselves. You know, Rob talked about all these different adjectives around all the different, what we call spend setters. It's a great initiative that we've created because we're giving our community a voice. And that's always the biggest thing in how you affect change. How do you give people a voice? How do you give someone a story that they can grasp onto such that they can make it their own, such that they can take those facts and that relevance and apply it to their own day-to-day -day jobs? And that's a big thing that we're looking to do. But it requires, going back to trust, it requires a little bit of trust in what we're doing. It, and by providing those stories, it gives these our customers, our champions, uh, the ability to fall back on those, have that foundation for how to make change, how to disrupt their organizations. You know, Rob gave that great example of Telenor. You know, their, C their chief procurement officer created a blueprint and a plan to provide mobile service, I think it was in India. Yeah. It was a great example of what an individual can do. And when you're that individual and you have visibility into all your supply base, into all of the spend going across your company, it's very, very powerful. I saw a, a survey that Coupa did recently yeah. of I think 253 
financial decision makers in the UK. Yeah. And some of the stats were quite shocking that 96%, I believe, said, we do not have complete visibility over our entire spend. Right. Wow. Right. That's, because some of the things that Rob shared this morning was the massive, massive savings that companies can achieve, but not having that visibility, it's got blinders on. There's a lot of risk there. There's a lot of expenses that probably should be going into procurement, but right. that was really 96% saying, we don't have complete visibility. Right. What's Coupa's answer to that? You know, it's it's an interesting statistic, right? And and I, I gave a presentation, I think seven, eight years ago, and I started off that presentation with saying, you know, if you were in HR and you didn't have track of all your employees, you'd be fired. If you're a head of sales and you didn't have an understanding of all of your open opportunities for business, you'd be fired. So why is that different for spend, right? Why not have visibility and have access to all of the different spend that's happening across your company? And you know, Rob said it best uh, in his keynote. We talked about what's actually happening in the world today. It's not necessarily around customer relationship management software, CRM, right? It's not necessarily around human capital management, but it's the well-capitalized businesses of the world today, in today's day and age, in this uncertainty of Brexit, uncertainty of the global climate, US-China trade relations. Who's well-capitalized to make and withstand what could be some you know, unsettling times? That is another very interesting thing we saw with that same survey, <coughs> excuse me, along with some of the things we saw with the Wall Street Journal, with some surveys we did with them. These finance professionals, they want to have that visibility. And our answer to them, come talk to us. <laughs> so, speaking of influence, inspiring, tell me a little bit about how the Coupa community influenced or is influencing the evolution of Coupa Pay. For example, was, hey, we've got to have Amex virtual cards integrated with Coupa Pay. Was that something that came from the voice of the community? Yeah, so we, you know, all across Coupa, ever since the inception of the company, it's always around partnering with our customers, with our community, to really listen and understand what, they, what they're looking for. But doing it in the, in the, within the framework of our core values as a, custom, as a company. And the first one that I mentioned earlier, ensuring customer success. So we want to listen to our customers, we want to better understand them. So around virtual cards, you know, how do we choose to do an Amex or a Barclay card? And to us, it's actually pretty simple. We wanted to make sure that we're able to cover 80 to 90% of our customers with these large issuers. And we've been able to do that over the past year in negotiating these agreements, figuring out the technology components. And so we've been executing and delivering on that over the past, uh, over the past year. And if I understand it, the press release correctly, Coupa Pay with Amex virtual card integration is launching first in the UK and Australia? Correct. Can you tell me a little bit about those markets and what were some of the deciding factors that said, hey, we'll, go, we'll parlay on your title of acceleration. Is yeah. this, are, are these the right markets to launch and to accelerate Coupa Pay? Yeah. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of different ways uh, and opportunities that American Express has to go to market. Massive company, great company to partner with. And so what we saw with them is from a technology standpoint, starting off in the UK and Australia made the most sense. We also have existing demand with customers that are ready to get going and really help us make sure that we create the right experience. You know, we expect this partnership to be really big. And so as part of that, we want to make sure that we're able to deliver in certain markets first before we expand this and make this a, a much bigger thing. American Express has a very prestigious brand. We want to respect and support that. And we have our own brand that we want to support with our customers. We want to make sure we do it right. Well, Ravi, last question. I know that you're keynoting tomorrow. Yes. What are the couple of takeaways that you're going to leave the audience with tomorrow during your keynote? Yeah, it's a great, good question. I think the, the takeaways for tomorrow is we want to share some stories. You know, going back to inspiration, it's all about storytelling. Do we have stories to tell our customers such that they can relate to it and fall back on that? So we have three great customer speakers tomorrow, really excited about the stories that they're going to share about Coupa Pay and their journey with it. And my takeaway for our, our, the audience is, how do those stories relate to your business? And is there a way that we can help you streamline your payment process? 
Awesome. Robbie, it's been a pleasure having you back on theCUBE. Best of luck at your keynote Thank tomorrow, you. and we'll see you at the next Inspire. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. For Robbie Talker, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE from London, Coupa Inspire 19.